Thank you, Marie. Thanks for that kind introduction. As Marie said, my name is Harry Kahneman, um, and uh, Justin Dyer is also here with us as well. Um, the, the talk today is really about two hot topics in their respective communities, agile in the development execution side of the world and model-based models in the uh, system engineering kind of the specification side. Um, both have seen successes in the past 10 years or so, but neither is really new. Um, we've seen an emergence of agile in development, say, the last five, eight years, as well as Model-based system engineering has been a very hot topic and in cozy, in cozy presentations and in cozy talks as well the last uh, four, four to six years or so. Um, but both actually have origins in 20 plus years or so, so neither, neither one of them is, is, is relatively new. Um, this talk really discusses how we're going to take what's going on in development from an agile perspective and show how model-based system engineering fits very well with that approach. Um, the, the key things to think about are some of the themes of, of, of today's talk are going to be around the, the, the need or the goal to, to try to increase, increase collaboration between systems, development, and then all of the, um, all the aspects of development. It could be electrical, mechanical, test, et cetera. Um, the other one is that we want, to be, we want to make decisions at appropriate times so that we can get feedback on those decisions. So we're going to contrast uh, at, at a traditional approach to development where we try to to design a big design, to develop a big design up front um, and contrast that with where we may design continuously over the life of the system. All right, so as a quick overview, um, we're going we're gonna to have some quick background on model-based system engineering. Our assumption is most folks here that are attending this presentation um, have some background in system engineering as well as modeling. Uh, but we also want to motivate what, what's changing, uh, what, what's driving the need to do things differently and then contrast the traditional development approach with, with one of those with Agile. We're gonna, we're gonna spend some time looking at traditional Agile development, but we're gonna do it from the context of large scale, large scale systems, systems that require, uh, complex systems that require some system engineering effort up front, and use some system engineering terms as they apply to Agile. Uh, but our real, the real goal of the talk, um, we'll spend probably the last uh, 45 minutes or so on it, is gonna be the solutions that we have to blend model uh, to bring the agile practices with model-based system engineering. So we want to motivate the need for that, uh, describe some of the value of it, and then uh, towards the end, uh, Justin Justin's going to talk about the rational solution, the solution rational has to fulfill um, the integration between system engineering efforts and then the execution side as well. So um, model-based system engineering, um, again, it's not new, but it's, it's become in vogue, I would say. Uh, one of, the, one of the goals, one of the significant goals of system, the system engineering activity is to understand stakeholder and users' needs, to be able to make decisions around a technical solution, and then to be able to communicate. Communicate the, the knowledge that's been gained and the decisions that have been made um, to the development teams downstream that are going to implement. Um, again, development and, and the execution side really becomes a customer then of, of system engineering. Uh, models add a lot of rigor over the Visio PowerPoint engineering. So one value and probably uh, one reason that uh, system engineering is looking more towards modeling is that as we move to larger systems, we need to take all of the system engineers and all of the people that are contributing to the requirements and the solution space of a, of a project, we need, to, we need to ensure that there's consistency across all of their specifications. Um, and when, if, if we allow people to use a, a Visio kind of PowerPoint engineering approach, we, what we've seen in the past is that there is inconsistencies. So with everyone contributing to a model, the model helps ensure, ensure consistencies across the information that's being contributed. Um, and the model adds another piece, important piece of value is that with all the information in the model,